guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Geeky Crossing here, and today we are doing another one in the Sanrio range. And today is Rilla. So I know loads of people don't like Rilla, and I'm kind of neutral. I don't like Rilla, but I'm not like I don't hate her to bits. You know what I mean? Like I'm not the biggest fan of the items. I think I don't like the dresser at all. But I think the chair is super cute. The rug is very cute. I wish we could place these damn rugs outside. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get started. Um, I got this custom code. The code will be in the description, and this is a sort of just plain white plank that sort of matched her house. I didn't have, I only had one design slot left, so I couldn't get anything complicated. So I know it's a little rough around the edges, and if I had more design slots, I probably would have dedicated something a bit better for the basic path. Um, however, I didn't. So we're going to start off with the items, so I'm going to put down this Hello Kitty table. And basically the idea I'm going for is sort of like a mini school room, and it's sort of maybe to give inspiration on how you could bring it into a bigger build, or if you just wanted to do a small one, and kind of what I had going for this was sort of maybe more like a mini sort of nursery. Where I live down in Glasgow, usually, um, there's quite a lot of like little backyard nurseries, so it's like mini little nurseries that are just run out of like, it'll be like a row of like houses, but they're flats. Like it's a house, but they're flats or apartments or whatever. And um, there'll be one of them and it's like a nursery. So, and it's really small and there's like a few seats and it's just really, really, it's, they look really, really sweet and they look really quite kind of homely. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for here. There's maybe like, you know, five or six kids and, you know, they just have fun and it's colourful. So that was kind of the idea I had going. So I've used things like the, quite a few of the mom's items, like the tissue box and the pen holder. I have quite a few of these, so I felt happy spending them on this build. So yeah, um, I've got quite a few different variations of the um, pen holder, so um, I quite like that. And then I wanted it positioned like that in the middle as well. And then I've just put three chairs there because I think four might be a bit much and then it's not too accessible. And also I was really sick of time traveling at this point for items, to be honest. <laughs> so, but also I didn't need any more. So yeah, so I'm just, I've put like, um, I've got items like an art set to put down, like crayons, um, different like essay sets and that. I'm not sure if I'll use it all. Again, I'm just doing what I usually do where I take out a million items and if I use them, I use them. And if I don't, I don't. So yeah, I'm just rotating things to go kind of the way I want them and to fit in. Um, and yeah, so this is kind of like the kid core, the mini kid core area on my island. Um, I don't know if you have watched like quite a few of my videos but if you've seen a few of them you'll know that I kind of I've recently just set up different areas on my island for different themes because I do these villager garden ideas very regularly so instead of changing out the background every single time I can keep kind of a basic background and then just work on um the subject in matter such as um like Bob's garden or anything like that rather than having to do the background as well and then I can just tweak that as is needed so I'm quite pleased that I've set that up and it'll save me a lot of time hopefully and I also got to spend ages terraforming which is always fun and um, I really enjoy I have a love-hate relationship with terraforming I enjoy seeing what happens but sometimes I think I think my record's been sick like five or six times that I've put the same cliff up and torn it back down again it, it drives me crackers up here I've just used some of the wooden block bookshelves with um, a dinosaur toy and the modeling clay on top and then I've just put the wooden block toy in front of that and I am just using another mom's item over here and this is the plushie and it's just the like little green and white dog and it's super cute um, but I was struggling with the little space here so um, and I didn't feel like the color went very well, so I went with the ring toss instead, so the colors would fit in. I was really pleased that the Rilla stuff came in, obviously, Hello Kitty colors, because um, it's so bright and kid core, and I feel like this stuff fits in really well. So instead of using this as a dresser, I wanted to make it look like, like art drawers, almost like, you know, I don't know what your school or your nursery was like, but like, in ours we had these huge, like, colorful drawers, and they were filled with all the art stuff. So I kind of had that in mind while I was doing this. 
I find this item really weird in the fact that there's like this bench on the back, like not a bench, but like a shelf on the back of it. But the front of it is this way. And I, I don't know. I find this item quite weird, but it is adorable in some way. And I feel like it fits with Kid Core and this build really, really well. So I quite like that. So yeah, I'm uh, beginning to get a bit happier with this. Um, you can't actually place these dresses very close together at all. <laughs> so, and then I've used the Hello Kitty planter as well. And I'm trying to dot a couple of these around because I do think these are super, super cute. And I think they would look nice in quite a lot of builds. And then I'm just trying to see what I can put on this section here behind that chair. So I decided to position it the other way so it would look more like a workbench kind of, not a workbench, but like just a kind of, oh, what's the word? A tabletop or something that like can be used rather than drawers with a weird shelf on the back. And then I tried to go with an umbrella stand to show that, you know, there's quite maybe quite a few people here and things like that. Um, I know it was black, but I thought it would be acceptable because it was a little bit of black and dark colors in other places. Unfortunately, I just scrubbed off a square of my custom design, so time to go back in and fix that in a minute. And no, I do not want to change. Oh, I, I know I mentioned this like almost in every video, but I so wish it was easier to like place items outside. Like, I don't know if anyone else has played Pocket Camp. I know I've been talking about this maybe too much recently for what it is. Um, and, and in, yeah, and in Pocket Camp, you um. You have you can place and like rotate items like from third person, and I understand that like maybe that's you know the whole point of this game, but I do think that it would be nice, uh, not for maybe not for like terraforming and stuff because I feel like you know, and clearly I'm evil and hate myself because for some reason I kind of feel like we should have to do the terraforming. I do wish, however, that there was a separate button for um, putting up and like taking down a section. And in waterscaping as well, I find it hugely frustrating. Um, but it would be nice for placing items if we could like rotate them a bit easier rather than having to like keep like picking items back up and placing them down again. But yeah, there's my mini my mini rant slash suggestion of the day. So yeah, I'm just going back and kind of replacing these items. And down at the bottom right, I used a tire stack and some of the in-game sand path and a tire toy as well. So I'm beginning to get pretty happy with this. Um, I love the rocking horse in the wooden block sort of design. And I'm really liking the colours of this. And it's really, really making me like super duper look forward to starting my Kid Core Island. Which I'm super looking forward to. Um, I'm thinking about going like... I think I'll have quite a few different kind of themed areas. A bit like my last island. But I think this one will be a lot better because I've got a lot more experience. And I feel like... My first island, I probably rushed a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to my next island. And I am thinking like, I'll probably have like a city area and maybe um, like a Studio Ghibli kind of inspired countryside-ish area. I'd like to see if I could do something with that. I do have a lot of ideas and I might do like a planning session where I like look at custom designs and inspiration and you know, maybe plan a couple of things out, get some sketches together. You can let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would like to see. Um, yeah. So basically down here, I'm just making like a mini little play park. So I've got a tricycle and this sand pit down. And I just made a big square of the in-game sand path. And then I'm just having a look at some other items. So I've got a mom's plushie on a wooden block stool um, on the left there. And then I'm just going to go through my custom designs and I'm going to go in with um, this white path that I've got that I use in my fairy core designs. And I'm going to just use this alongside the sand path here and up to the stairs. So I do really, really like this path. And again, this design code I'll pop in the description for you guys. And as I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos, um, I am going to be doing a custom code video real soon with kind of all the custom codes that I regularly use in my villager garden idea builds or any other builds on this island. So um, you guys won't have to keep checking the description. There'll just be one video with all the codes and then 
anything else I will switch out and anything else that I switch out I'll put in the description. So yeah, I'm just filling this path in. Um, I really, really like this. I wish there was a couple more blocks. I think I've mentioned that before, but I do really, really like it and I love the leaves. So I'm just gonna add in a couple more Hello Kitty items to tie this area in with the upstairs so it doesn't look too separate. So by that, I mean I'm adding in two chairs in these um, convenient squares that were in the path. And then over on the right, I'm trying to find a couple of items to um, kind of bulk out this area a little bit, just mainly for photos. So I'm just going to pop down um, the Hello Kitty drawers and um, see what a little painting set looks like here, which I think looks really, really cute. I know that um, this is not decorated um, to a high standard down here, um, but this was mainly for photos. And again, just like maybe a little idea of what you could do with the items. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this so far. Um, I think it's coming out pretty cute. I would definitely like to go to school here if I was a little kid. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to a Hello Kitty school? Who am I kidding? Like, whether it was decorated well or not, you'd still go. I mean, even if, you, even if you didn't like Hello Kitty, I feel like you'd still do that. Like, Hello Kitty is by far not my favourite Sanrio character. And I don't mean that as in regarding Animal Crossing. I just mean Sanrio in general. I definitely... See, it's really tough because I would say my favourites would be... Romy and Cinema Roll, but my melody is like such a close second that sometimes I feel like she would also be tied for first, but I feel like I can't have three favorites. I feel like that might be a bit, um, a bit greedy, you know? But I'm not very good at decisions, so we'll just leave it there. Who are your favorite Sanrio characters if you guys are Sanrio fans too, which I know that at least some of you will be. But yeah, I didn't like watch Hello Kitty when I was a kid or anything. Um, it just wasn't... I don't know, I just don't even remember seeing it on TV. I watched a lot of anime and... Um, like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and... Merlin and things like that. I, I've, just, I've just... I'm, I'm just a big nerd. And anime, I watched a lot of anime. Sailor Moon was totally my jam. Still is. I love Sailor Moon. I got the most adorable Sailor Moon socks. Anyway, so, sorry, I will continue talking about the build now. So, up here with these trees, I'm just adding in this little, out, another outdoor area. So, I've used that outdoor path again just to kind of make sure that it's clear that that is not part of, like, the indoor-looking build. So, it looks separate. So, I, I made this kind of look like a, you know, you can get a book and sit, sit on a blanket under the tree and, you know, do some colouring in, a bit of sewing, and just chill out and... Um, eat a peach. So yeah, I used this bright blanket custom code because I thought it fitted in and it was bright and kid core. So yeah, I really liked that. Uh, I thought this globe looked cute too and I thought the yellow in it looked really good against the blanket. And it also matched with the tire toy and the sand and all the bits of yellow on everything else. So yeah, overall I'm really pleased with this. I'm really pleased with how the colors look together. There's, you know, the same shades of blue and red and yellow throughout it all. And, you know, I'm really, really happy and I think this came out really, really well. I feel like, you know, it could be um, finished up a bit better. You know, maybe some white bookshelves would look pretty good and things like that. But um, I'm pretty pleased with it for the area that I had set aside. So I hope you guys like this. Um, if you did like this and you would like to see more, please like and subscribe because it makes me super happy and it really, really helps me out. I super appreciate you guys and all the comments are really, really lovely and it really means a lot. Um, I think every time I, I, I see like my little sister, um, I just start reciting all the lovely comments that you guys have left me and yeah, it, it really makes me smile. So thanks a lot and I hope that I can make you smile during this awful pandemic time too so thank you for watching my content i hope you enjoy i will stop babbling now and i will see you in the next video bye guys